Hey guys, so I normally wouldn't do a video this raw, as you can see I'm crying my eyes out, but I felt like I wanted to do this, um, because I did a similar video like this for Alan Rickman, um, I just found out like a, a few minutes ago that uh, Nelson Ellis has passed away, who played Lafayette in True Blood, or I know him best for playing Lafayette in True Blood, um, uh, I know this isn't going to be a very happy video, but I'm really, really emotional and upset about it, as you can see, and I'll explain a little bit why, but I thought I wanted to do this video just, um, to say my personal memories, um, I don't have many, but why I'm so emotional, really, and my memories, so it's a raw video, uh, just talking about... Uh, Nelson Ellis and why his passing has affected me and stuff. It's horrible when anybody dies, so don't get me wrong, but it's not... I haven't really ever had a personal experience with death, so it's not often that celebrity deaths affect me like this, but I'm really affected about this. So like I said, Nelson Ellis died today um, of uh, complications with heart failure and he was 39 and he played Lafayette in True Blood, like I said. So I wrote a status about it on Facebook as well. But on the 6th of February, I've got my phone here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the brightness. But on the 6th of February, uh, you can't, Nelson Ellis uh, started following me on Instagram. And I put, thank you so much, he literally just made my life. And I was crying when he followed me on Instagram because he means... Like, the character Lafayette and Nelson himself means a lot to me. Um, so, I'll read the status to you and then I'll explain a little bit more. But, um, my status was, I am crying my eyes out right now. I'm shocked and saddened to hear the news that Nelson Ellis, who I know best for playing Lafayette in True Blood, has died. A while ago, he followed me on Instagram and we spoke briefly. Lafayette is one of my favourite True Blood characters and always has been, and Nelson was outstanding at portraying that role. We spoke about how Lef Lafayette died in the original Sucky Stackhouse novel. So in the first Sucky Stackhouse novels, the original, uh, Lafayette was killed. Um... But in the TV series True Blood, he managed to stay alive for all seven seasons because the fans loved Nelson's portrayal that much. Um, so that really shows how great he was at it if they kept him alive. Um, I'm truly heartbroken at his passing. Uh, my thoughts to his friend and family, my sadness is nothing compared to what they will be going through. Rest in peace, Nelson. You will always be la la to me. So... Yeah, like I said, we spoke briefly about um, Lafayette being killed in the book and how Nelson was humbled at the fact that uh, they kept his character around because of the, f the response from fans. And I just think it's an amazing testament to his character. And some of my favourite True Blood scenes ever are Lafayette. For example, the AIDS burger, the whole AIDS burger scene, if you're familiar with True Blood uh, in, in uh, Merlots and True Blood, like, is one of my favourite fandoms and it means a lot to me and Lafayette's always been my favourite male uh, character and I'm so sorry that this video is a mess, like I'm a mess but I felt like I owed it to Nelson to do this video and um, you know just really express how I feel and how much he meant to me and I felt like I owed it to him, like I said, to uh, talk about my memories of Lafayette and things. Unfortunately, I never got the chance to meet Nelson, but the short conversations that we had through Instagram, I, I wish he knew how much that meant to me. Actually, he did, because the amount of times I said that it, it means a lot to me that he's speaking to me and talking to me about it. And he loved his fans, and I know he went to a few Comic-Cons and stuff. I think he did anyway. So I'm, I'm gutted that I never got the chance to meet him, but I feel incredibly lucky that I even had that brief interaction with him. And I do have his autograph as well, so I'll treasure that for the rest of my life. Um, and I looked over at my True Blood collection earlier and his Funko Pop, I've got the Lafayette Funko Pop and I just burst out crying at a bloody Funko Pop. <laughs> but Lafayette meant an incredible amount to me and I'm very sad um, that Nelson's gone. And like I said, from... The, the brief interactions that we had, he was such a wonderful person. 
uh, and he took the time to entertain me when I was asking questions and things because you know what I'm like and that just meant a lot so yeah I don't know where I'm going <laughs> with this video but I just wanted to to do it I suppose I don't know why but I just felt I needed to express uh, why I'm so upset you'd have seen on Instagram or Facebook if you're following me on there that I'm you know really heartbroken about it but yeah it's 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 sad when these things happen obviously I know I'm not the only one that goes through it and like I said I know his, his friends and family are going to be even more heartbroken than I am because they actually knew him but I know a lot of the True Blood cast members have already posted like twi tweets and things so I don't know what else to, to say but I just wanted to say rest in peace to Nelson Ellis um, and if they ever remade True Blood I would be happy about it but no one else can replace Nelson for Lafayette so yeah but It's just, I'm sorry, there's there's nothing more to say. So I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, with my regular autograph update and all that kind of thing. Um, and I might have another video out tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for them, but it's just all I've got to say for now. <laughs>